I'm going to go ahead and, and start playing this and explain everything this plugin can do. Right now I've got the mirror rotating to show how the reflection works. You can see that even the particle systems, the sphere that represents the player, and the light at top, everything is reflected. I'm going to show you all the configuration options that you can use for Magic Mirror now. So up at the top I've got this prefab called Mirror. I've got this crack here and the frame here. They're part of the prefab. If you don't like these or don't need them, you can delete them. But I just added them to show you how you can put frames and effects on your mirror. I've also got a script that is necessary to make the mirror work. That's over here. There's a couple of properties here. There's the maximum per pixel lights. I've got this set to 4. I think the default is 0, but for a very realistic effect you'll want to up this number. Uh, there could be some performance um, concerns there, so if you're seeing slowness, especially on mobile devices, you'll want to keep that value lower or even 0. The texture shot size is, uh, controls how the render texture displays and how much memory it uses. I've got it set to 1024, which basically means it's going to be a 1 megapixel texture. If you lower that value, the reflection will get more and more blurry, but use less memory. So on a mobile device, you may want to lower that value. But if you're only targeting modern mobile devices and desktops, you could probably leave that at 1024 and you'll have a very nice crisp reflection. The clip plane offset can zoom the reflection in or zoom it out in this case. If you do negative values, it'll zoom in. Typically you can use that, leave that at zero unless you want to do some crazy effects there. You can possibly animate that. You can control what's reflected here. So if you set it to nothing, you'll just get the detail texture, which I'll explain in a minute. Uh, again, you'll probably just want to leave that to everything unless you're going for a special effect. If you use lens flares, you can add a flare layer. Uh, I typically leave that off, but if you need that, it's there. And then normal is forward for quads, which is what the prefab is. You'll want to keep that checked. For planes, you want to turn that off since they default to pointing up instead of forward. All right, let's get to the mirror material. The script actually makes a copy of the mirror material, so you don't want to edit this mirror material here. You actually want to go to the shader here. If you see my mouse cursor in the top right? The mirror material is instanced when you start playing so that changes you make don't actually modify your original material, which is really annoying. I'm not sure why Unity does that, but they do, so I clone the material. First off is this detail texture. Right now I've got it set to the silvery texture, but you can change that um, to anything you want. Let's try maybe these carvings. You can kind of see a very ghostly overlay there. Uh, obviously not a great look there, that's why I picked the silvery texture, so let's go back to that. The detail uh, texture can be tinted here. I've got the tint value set really dark, which means you're not going to see a lot of the detail texture. But as you move that higher, the detail texture shows up more. So now you can see there's kind of the silvery film over my mirror, which if you want a kind of a dirty or misty mirror, would be a great effect. But for me, I want a shiny clean mirror, so I leave that to a pretty low value. Specular color controls how light reflects off of the mirror. So if you want a different color coming off the mirror there, look at the light, it's turned red and then back to white red so you can get some interesting effects there by changing that. I typically leave it at white and then the color of the light will stay the same as it reflects off the mirror. Specular power controls how the entire mirror reflects light so as you raise this value more and more and more of the mirror will reflect light. So the higher the value the more the surface area of the mirror will reflect that light off. If you combine this with specular intensity, you can get some really <clears throat> bright lights coming off the mirror. My light's got a pretty low intensity right now, but if I were to raise that, you would see some blinding light come off the mirror. So yeah, I mean, just going up to intensity of 2, 
you can see that the light is really coming off the mirror strong. Okay, <clears throat> let's go back to that material. Uh, I think we've got specular intensity, which is very similar, but it only controls where the light is reflecting. It doesn't change how big the area is, just how intense it is. So as this gets higher, that intensity will go up. And then as you in lower that specular power, the, the actual area will go down, but the intensity remains the same. Last but not least is reflection tint color. If you want your reflection to be really eerie or creepy, change this to red. Uh, there's lots of effects you can do here, so have fun with that. I typically leave it at white unless I'm making some fantasy or horror game and then go to town with whatever you want. Uh, the last thing I'll note before I close down this video is that you don't have to use mirror script. If you have your own camera with a render texture and you want to use that, and you don't want the script, you can simply apply this mirror material and get rid of the script. So don't use the script here. And then you can assign your own render texture or even a static texture. And then that's what will show up in the mirror. So have fun with that. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please email me at jjxtra at gmail.com and I'll answer any questions and try and help you out if you have any issues with the plugin. Have a great day.